Hi everyone, so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the CAD model onto the 5-axis vise so we've got this CAD model and we're going to machine this uh, 3 plus 2 machining so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open a new file so in this file um, okay, we're going to have to save it in here. Uh, let's give it a name. Say uh, 3 plus 2 machine name. Then yeah, let's just put it in there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my work holding and then I'm going to insert the system files that we had made in the previous video. Uh, when I set it up. So insert this into current design. Computer is a little bit slow. I need to upgrade it. Uh, probably next year. Oh my goodness. Come on. Ah, finally. Okay, so so put the vice in. Uh then the next thing that I'm gonna do is yeah, so what we're trying to do is you want to unlink uh, break the link right, because it's always going to be linked to this vice where we inserted it from so I'm going to break that link now when I break the link uh, two things that I want to do is I also want to create another joint let's see if it's actually in there it might not be oh no my joint is there Right, and I can edit it if I want to. Okay, no, perfect. So that joins there. Uh, now the next thing is I'm going to insert the CAD model. Right, and there we go. So let's just bring it up. And I'll just rotate it about 90 degrees. Perfect. So with the CAD model, uh, I, can't, I can't really rename this, but that does the CAD model. Plus lots of holes. So with the CAD model, I'm actually going to leave it linked. Right. That way, if there's any design changes, they'll automatically be adapted. Um, to this part uh, over here if there's any changes if i make any changes to the vice uh, that's not going to update on here unfortunately okay so the next thing what we're trying to do is usually i like to model my stock right so i'll create a sketch right just on there and rectangle Center rectangle. Right. So let's go with. I think that can be fifty. And let's make that. Oh no. Yeah. So that's fifty. Let's make that. Um, yeah, let's go with 70. Uh, no, it won't work. Uh, 75. 
Okay, then we'll just extrude this. Okay, so I'll do it in two directions, so two sides. So the first side, I'll go up maybe one mil. Oh, let's just go 1.5. Um, yeah, just make sure that's on your body. And the second side, yeah, we can go maybe. Yeah, we can go maybe thirty mil. Right. Twenty. Now we'll go twenty-five. So twenty-five mil. Uh, it depends if I plan on patching it off or not. Um, I don't plan on patching it off. Um, so what would happen is there will be another operation, uh, probably on a 3-axis machine, just to uh, take the back off. Okay, so now when well, this is done, uh, so the problem is, so because that's still linked, um, to the CAD model we imported it from. So the problem is, this part, the CAD model will not want to move if, if I try to snap it on to that joint origin. Uh, but I found a nice little hack. So if you model your stock around it, you can move the stock and that will sort of move the CAD model as well. So I'm gonna create a joint. Between, no, actually it's the vice that's gonna move up. Oh, no, 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 I've skipped a step. So I want to create a joint origin between two faces. That face, that face. Oh, snap it, that, that's in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to create a joint. All right. Just make sure you said you actually select it. There we go. Did, did, did I select it? Yeah, like that. So between that and that. Oh no. Let's do it again. Joint. Okay, right, so the parts, the parts in the middle of the vise. So now what I want to do is I, I just want to move the vise jaws away a little bit. So I, uh, let's see, my stock is, I think we're at 45. Okay, yeah, so that's 50. So I'm going to move right about 48. Yeah, make sure that draws about 48 mil apart. And the extra one mil aside, that, that, that's just to grip it. So, 48. Oh no, it shouldn't be 48. Should, should it should be, should be less. My, my, my bad. So if I measure this, the distance from that face to that face, that's going to be 25.365 and from that face to that face, 
should be exactly the same, 25.365. Okay, so what I can do here is I just turn off some stuff. Um, and turn that off. No, actually I need it on. Um, that's why when I go into the manufacturer side. Okay, yeah, so from here, now we can just go into manufacture. Uh, new setup. So model. Um, there's our model. Our fixture. Uh, we'll select the work holding. Right. Origin, selected point. There's our selected point. Model orientation. Um, I usually go for the Z axis. Uh, Z axis plane and X axis. So for the Z, just select anything that's going vertical. Or for the X, yeah, that's where I want it to be. Uh, for the stock, uh, we'll just go from solid and we can select the stock that we modeled. I think that's everything now. Okay, then we can just turn the sketch off. We don't need it anymore. Okay. Alright, so from this point, well, also, we can turn off our stock. We don't need that anymore. So from this point, um, we can start adding two parts uh, if we want. Oh, we want to. Yeah, so you can just start adding two parts and uh, just see what sort of happens with it. All right, in the next video, uh, I'm going to have a part. I'm going to be showing off how to part off uh, a part when, when that's finished. Because in this one, um, we're not going to be parting it off, right? So let me, let me just add a quick tool path. Um, let's say adaptive clearing. Tool library, uh, let's use a, a 16. I'm just put the 16 one up. Select that as a geometry. That's just something quick. this one tail just, just so the screen isn't a mess see so yeah that, that's good it's not, it's not hitting anything uh, because if it was for example okay let's just go in here let's say let's make that go I don't know minus 10 So on the simulation, I usually have it at stop on collision. So there you go. It's just, it's at the jaws. So it's quite nice. Um, yeah, you can have a little simulation uh, just to sort of see what's going on. All right, stay tuned. And the next video, uh, I'm gonna go through um, patching off um, your part when, when that's finished. Okay, thank you.